Other energy treatments for skin tightening, what device protocols do you use? Who, who wants to Inside take this? Inside or outside? Outside. 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 Okay. Jason. So I, I use Young two, Jason. I have two devices. I use um, Sublative and Venus Viva. Um, and I get some pretty significant results. We were just talking about this. You know, I do think you can treat some superficial crepey skin or some, and get some lifting um, with fractional RF. Um, with the Viva, you can get at least some, you can press it to get some ablation. Uh, and so you can get sort of that deeper penetration, which is a little bit more downtime. Sublative, you can't really get that. But I, don't, I find that it works best around the eye area. Uh, sometimes upper lip lines are pretty good. You can get a significant improvement in, in hooding of the eye. And I have some photos, actually, I wasn't able to, be able to show it here, but eye bag improvement in the lower eyelid uh, with, with Viva because I think it has some deep um, heating capacity, especially for patients that have large eye bags. I can't see. Um, I have Vanquish and Exilus as the only two RF uh, energy treatments that we uh, have. Obviously, Vanquish isn't going to really do a lot of skin tightening. It's mainly for debulking fat, but we've combined those two with basically four Vanquish, two Exilus treatments. And we, the reason we don't do a lot of Exilus, it's very labor intensive and the nurses actually start to get sore. I mean, they, they may only do one a day. If they do two, they're kind of sore. Um, Exilus on the face, we haven't seen, you know, amazing results. Exilus on the body, it's definitely visible. It's not amazing. Corey? Uh, so I, I mentioned, I mean, I've had a number of different RF devices over the years, and we're down to pretty much the, the Vela. I, you know, I think what's important about, to me, when you look at this RF energy, is not really a, I mean, it, it just, it's a way of heating the tissue, and the different devices offer different ways of delivering that heat. So they all have a little nuance or such, certain characteristics, and, you know, what would be great is if we worked a little bit harder on finding out how long we have to maintain the heat, what the depth of injury needs or, or thermal, thermal heating that needs to, how long that needs to occur and where it needs to be uh, delivered. If, if you could put those two things together, I don't, it probably doesn't matter which device you get, honestly. I, I agree 100% on that because I have both Fellowship of Venus Legacy and I do feel Jason, like, we didn't call on you. Oh, sorry. sorry. I didn't go yet. Senior Jason hasn't had a chance. So, sorry. You know, I, agree. Okay, I, I, agree with, I agree with Corey with this one. You know, look, what are you doing with external RF devices? Okay, let's continue. External RF on the face. What are you doing? Or on the body. You're heating the skin to a certain amount of temperature. Most of these are monopolar devices. You're trying to get it to whatever, 42, 44 degrees, whatever else, without burning the skin. Okay? And you're trying to maintain it for how long? We don't know. That's the bottom line. We don't know. We're supposed to heat, and also, I'm going to say this, I've said this a million times in the past, the patients who need this the most get the worst results because their skin's the worst. They have loss of elastin fibers, their collagen's crappy, they're not going to tighten as effectively as a younger patient who doesn't need this that much. So does it really matter which device? There's a lot of nuances between these different devices. Some have cooling, some don't. So a monopolar, tripolar, bipolar. You're just heating the skin. Um, probably not that much difference with all of them, but some of the newer ones are probably a little bit better. Michael. Thank you, Jason. So we started our quest for RF because a lot of um, young women who had had babies said they, you know, they, they have great bodies, they work out all the time, but when they bend over, they, they didn't like the way they looked in their bikinis. So we looked at every RF device, we had them come in, demo them in our office. The uh, Venus people were kind enough to leave the machine in our office for a few months. And although I didn't see incredible before and after pictures, the patients were saying, you gotta buy this. They, the patients are seeing something almost that, that I didn't see. And certainly there are some cases and, and, and the company has good before and after pictures and we have a few. But I think, um, so that's, that's why we went with that on the body. Um, on the face, I just haven't found any of them to be that great. Okay, Barry? I'll talk in concepts, and I think this all started, young Jay, I can't see it. Young Jason talked about getting good results in the eyelids. Well, this is really an equation of time versus temperature versus volume of tissue, and if you calculate that, we kind of know the temperatures uh, now. Uh, the eyelids do so well because it's less tissue to heat, and thicker tissue is going to take more. So as Jason, other Jason was saying, does it really matter? It's, it's the delivery. And I think one of the important, there's two comments I want to make. One of the important things is um, since temperature is so vital, measuring that temperature 
If you push it to the limit and you're monitoring the temperature with a thermal camera or some other instrument, yeah. you can get better results than if you're going to be squeamish and have to back off because you don't know where you are. So monitoring temperatures are important. And secondly, especially you were talking about beautiful body skin, you do body contouring, you want the skin to be nice. Um, it's good to use these devices, but you, you have to also uh, treat concomitantly with a good skin care program that's going to get the cells to turn over faster. It's not just the devices. I think it's a combination of your topical prep and your devices if you're going to get the body skin so well because it has a lower blood supply.